Oh man, my uh, my, my computer's been freaking out a little bit. I'm gonna have to see about sending. It's my screen specifically. It's it bugs me. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. Oh, I need that stack. Don't get rid of that one. Okay, so edit mine. This is something where I need to reinitialize the the depth. I think. Oh, you, yeah. You know why? Cause on the way back up. So right here, what I need to say is depth equals zero. On the way back up, if I recall how I did this correctly, um, on the way down here, he increments his depth. Depth equals depth plus one. But on the way back, uh, go down and then returning. Um, I did. I don't change the depth variable on the way back up which okay maybe that was that was dumb perhaps that was an oversight on my part i should have but i think this will work just fine setting him step to zero at the beginning of each run uh because that is the initial state anyway local local depth equals zero and then See that just that's outside the loop. That then the while true do. This is the loop. So when it comes back around, the depth didn't get set back to zero. So but now I will do that right there. So not a huge bug, but definitely something that could really hurt you. <laughs> um so just pardon me, allow me to repair that damage. and put him back in line so I can continue on this never-ending hunt for diamonds. I mean, really, this is... This is taking forever. Oh, stop it. Yeah, this is, again, my screen's freaking out, sorry. Um, so got a little bit of coal. I got some iron, and this should be enough iron for uh, Sherman over there to go to start uh, another a smelt on it because he has two iron in his inventory so we'll see we'll make sure that that works out correctly but for now sidekick get back to it there he goes great all right okay so what do we got here some iron uh got a little more coal i'll give to him Um, yeah, charcoal, I could make charcoal, if I replaced his fuel slot with charcoal, that would work, but it's okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine, I said it's fine, alright, so, that's got a uh, sidekick fixed up, went uh, four more shafts, still no diamonds, this is truly, well and truly getting into the dic ridiculous uh, range that I think I've uh, manually found more diamonds. Oh, finally. That snow's gone. I think I've uh, manually, playing like vanilla, found more diamonds uh, in in this time period than, than Sidekick has. And I honestly expected him to be doing better than this. Like, look look at this whole... And there's one over here. This, this whole area. This and... You know what? Forget these torches. I I need to be able to see this, so I'm gonna, a you know, quote unquote cheat, um, just to put down the, the markers so that this is like really you can really see the amount of space that is been mined here with no diamonds. This is I'm getting a little bit perturbed. Um, and that's the row he's currently on, and yeah, I did this one as well. There we go. Okay, there. Now now torches can just be torches again. Um, great. Put one there. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. See, Sherman? Sherman, you're the man. You're, well, sorry, Sherman, you're the turtle. He, he took, and now he shouldn't have any iron left, because he had two in his inventory. Yep, he had two in there. I added six more. He pulled them in, saw that there were eight. 
awesome. Um, one, one thing I'm not sure about though. Uh oh, that might cause issues. Is um, I think I might need to. I can fix it by plugging this first slot here. I can. There. <laughs> Now, when he, he, nothing will go into that slot. Oh, you know what? I bet, yeah, this is filled up with coal. <laughs> okay, that's, that's truly a bug right there. That he, every loop he puts, he puts coal in here, even if there isn't anything to cook. Okay, so I'm going to fix that, and then we'll, we'll call it a day. Now go. Right turn, right turn. Turn around, okay, good, he's back to initial state. Edit smelter. So what I need to do is... So, okay. We come in, he pulls everything out. And then he goes down, he checks if that er anything for fuel. Okay, one thing I wanna see here is when he selects the first slot and sucks things in, now they obviously can't go to the first slot, so they should auto stack in his inventory. Does, and that should include coal going to the last one here. Right. Let's see, he's already done. Yeah, look at you. You're an awesome smelter there, Sherman. You you are you're the turtle. Like I said, okay, so So maybe instead of saying telling it to select this one, because I don't like to lose that inventory slot, I should tell it Turtle Select. 16. So after he sucked everything up. Um, I'm assuming there, there must be a continue uh, a command in Lua. Um, or, or not, or not. I, I don't know Lua that well, and Stack Overflow is telling me... Um... Okay... This is definitely confusing. All right, so that's that's gonna be cut. Um, so no, there is there is not a continue option. So that's unfortunate. So okay, so then we get. Um, no, I don't want him to put the fuel in, so here. And he drops, so then... Make sure he's got that. So right here, if turtle.getItem count 16 is less than, what should we say? Um, I'll just say 8. 
then turtles suck. All right, so if he has at least eight coal, he won't bother sucking up any more from his from from the chest there. Should I have him? Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine just to not have him suck up so much coal, pretty much. So I guess here I just need to add a Mondo if, Mondo is in gigantic if statement. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's say, what we want to do here, okay, this is the kind of thing where I, like functions would help out. <laughs> um. Um, actually, actually, no, no, I still need to do this check again. All right, time to add a function. And, um, has smeltable. And this is where I wish I had copy and paste functionality. Ouch. <laughs> but I will just rewrite it. That's fine. Actually, yeah, I do need to rewrite it a little bit differently. Anyway, so that's that's fine. Whatever. For let's just say L. <laughs> um, M. There we go. M equals one to fourteen. Do and um, so this return false, and then here we just say. If turtle dot get item count m greater than or equal to eight, then true. There, that wasn't so bad. Has smeltable. Anyway, <laughs> let's just do that. So over here. If, say, if has smeltable, then we do all of this. Everything. Um, now he figures out which one it is. That's fine. The sleep. It's like 15 sucks it. Turn right. Goes down. Drops up. Turn right. Okay. Right here, and then we say else, and if he does not have a smeltable right here, then turtle dot up. That's not turtle, <laughs> turtle, turtle, and then sleep. We will say for how about just 10 seconds? So that. That should really get rid of a lot of issues with long waits and wasting coal and all kinds of stuff like that. I like it. Cross my fingers that it works, of course. Um, smelter. He'll go down there, runs his check, pops back up. Great. He's in, like, standby mode there. That will totally do. 
And lapis. Bunch of coal, bunch of iron. A torch. Very nice. Very nice aim there. Sidekick. He went right through a mine shaft. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take it. Oops. Um, and do we have room for another? Yeah, we have room for another one. So off you go. Now this is uh, this will be the test. Actually, this is the second run. So, hey Sherman, how you doing? Um, have some coal. Have some iron. I think that's all I've got. So let's see what he does. He smelts like Sherman should. Too awesome. Too, too awesome. Man, that's... That's so great. And then my, my little hidey hole's getting full of holes. Um, okay. Found ore, found ore, found ore. Yeah, that's... That's cool. Let's dump some stuff again while I wait for Sidekick to come back up, and then I will call it a day. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of lapis. Wow, that's actually quite a lot. I didn't realize just how much he grabbed. I don't need gravel. I don't need moss stone. Okay. Don't need arrows. Don't need string. <laughs> don't need any of this junk, actually. I got bots to do it all for me. Have a quick snack. And I think that's where I'm going to call it. Um, let me just again say thanks very much to everybody who's watching. Um, really, really glad people are enjoying my computer craft challenge stuff. I have still having a good time with it. Uh, it's we are getting to the point where things are getting a lot more complicated. Um, but I do have a very, very well designed, I would say, very adequate miner mining program. I could stand to make it auto auto mine and just automatically drop things off at a chest. I may work that out. Um, but that's that's gonna be a little bit complicated. I still haven't gotten to do anything with putting up like a, a satellite console to increase the transmission range of things. Um, but I have got Sherman all done. Bugs ironed out. Uh, yeah, he's not shoving coal in there all the time anymore. He smelts like a champ. And yeah, this this is a life, I tell ya. This is the life. So, I mean, yeah, I could, uh, with with a few more turtles here I, and an auto mining thing, I could come up with a system wherein I need something to control. It's a very complicated system to have something control where the auto mining takes place, then a series of turtles which will bring materials from that the mining location back to my fort here, and then the smeltable items would be brought automatically over to Sherman here. To, to be taken care of. Anyway, as I was saying, thanks for watching, and I appreciate all the everyone who's watching. All the comments are great. Um, if you you know like the series, you know definitely like it. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, everything like that, I appreciate so much. So until next time, bye.